The Federal Aviation Administration is investigating how two jetliners were put on an apparent collision course as they were leaving Reagan National Airport Thursday morning, prompting air traffic controllers to frantically radio each plane to stop. Air traffic control audio recordings detail controllers shouting for a JetBlue flight to stop its takeoff run as a Southwest Airlines flight began taxiing across the runway in front of it. The two planes stopped about 400 feet apart, according to data compiled by Flight Radar 24, which also shows at least the forward fuselage of the Southwest flight had entered the runway. A controller responsible for the runways at Reagan National had cleared the JetBlue Airways flight to take off at about 7.40 a.m., the recordings from liveatc.net showed. At around the same time, a controller responsible for taxiing aircraft directed a Southwest Airlines jet across the same runway. About 30 seconds after clearing the JetBlue plane, the controllers shouted for both planes to stop. JetBlue 1554 stop, the tower controller called out. 2,937 stop. We stopped. We were cleared to cross runway 4. The FAA said it will investigate the incident and acknowledged in a statement to CNN that both planes were sent onto the runway. An air traffic controller instructed Southwest Airlines Flight 2937 to cross runway 4 at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport while JetBlue Flight 1554 was starting its takeoff roll on the same runway, the FAA said. Following the incident, the JetBlue plane taxied back to the runway threshold and then took off for Boston Logan. Do you have room to get around the Southwest or even double back on runway 4 full length? The controller asked. Looks like we can make a left on Alpha, JetBlue 1554, the pilot replied. The Southwest plane was directed to continue across that runway and taxi toward a second runway, where it took off as planned, bound for Orlando. JetBlue said its Boston-bound flight aborted takeoff due to another aircraft attempting to cross the runway. The plane was inspected and then departed safely, the airline said. We are aware of the incident and are working with the FAA to fully understand the circumstances, Southwest Airlines told CNN. CNN has reached out to the National Transportation Safety Board to see if it plans to investigate the incident. A near-miss between two planes at Reagan National Airport in Arlington, Virginia, was reported Thursday morning. The planes, one from Southwest and one from JetBlue, nearly ended up crossing the same runway while that JetBlue flight was taking off. It happened about 7.40 a.m. when an air traffic controller instructed Southwest Flight 2936 to cross runway 4 while JetBlue Flight 1554 was starting its takeoff, according to the FAA. Air traffic controllers can be heard yelling stop on audio that was posted to YouTube. No one was hurt and airport operations were not significantly affected. The FAA said it will investigate. There's been debate about adding more flights to Reagan National Airport, with some calling it the busiest runway in the country. Reporter Adam Tuss and the News 4 team are covering you down on the roads and in transit. There were about 54.4 million takeoffs and landings in the U.S. in fiscal year 2023, and of those, there were 1,756 total runway incursions, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. About 60% of the incursions were attributed to pilot deviations, about 20% were caused by air traffic controller action or inaction, and the remaining 20% were caused by vehicle or pedestrian deviations. In February 2023, then acting Administrator Billy Nolan created a safety review team to examine the reliability of the nation's air traffic system after the string of close calls early last year. He claimed that while air travel is coming back, the long layoff, coupled with the increased technical nature of our systems, might have caused some professionals to lose some of that muscle memory. Since Mike Whitaker took over as head of the agency in October 2023, he's been looking into concerns that air traffic controllers are not getting enough sleep. With the safety of our controllers and national airspace always top of mind for FAA, I took this very seriously and we're taking action, he said in a statement on Friday. Since December 2023, when the FAA commissioned an independent panel of scientific fatigue experts to assess the risks introduced by controller fatigue in the system, the FAA has been implementing systemic changes to ensure that air traffic controllers are getting sufficient rest. In part, Whitaker said he is requiring 10 hours off between shifts and 12 hours off before a midnight shift, effective in 90 days, which is consistent with the expert panel's recommendations.